afternoon and welcome to this video covering the brand new cash flow for dashboard feature from QuickBooks Online. My name is Johan Gori, I'm the Managing Director of JGBC. We're an accounting and bookkeeping firm based in Scotland, uh, supporting customers across the UK. There's currently a really popular phase that's becoming more popular over the last few years in businesses, but in the last couple of weeks due to the coronavirus, it's become the most important phrase a business owner can follow. And that phrase is cash is king. At the moment in particular, it doesn't matter what your balance sheet or your profit and loss says, if there's no cash in your bank, you're going to struggle. So with that in mind, QuickBooks has just launched this morning a brand new tool to help you understand your cash flow and to see patterns starting to emerge. First of all, this new tool is not a cash flow forecast tool. So let's have a look at how this all works then. What we've done is we've just logged into our demo company that JGBC uses for demos with clients and potential clients to explain QuickBooks and how it works. So this is going to be looking fairly similar to how your QuickBooks will probably look at the moment with our usual current dashboard on it. When QuickBooks launches a new feature, it often puts it into what is called QuickBooks Labs. So this is where a feature goes where the development team have finished with it for now. They may still be working on it in the background, but it's it allows them to be able to build up feedback and turn it on to clients gradually instead of one big go so that the system doesn't suddenly buckle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and turn this on. So we're going to go to our cog on the right hand side of our screen. And we're going to go to QuickBook Labs. So at the moment there's two features in QuickBooks Labs on this account. One is the import style. So this allows you to import invoice styles more in line with your invoices before you start QuickBooks. We're not worried about that one just now, but we are going to be playing with the cash flow dashboard widget. Okay, so we've got a couple of options here. We can see a demo where it's just going to show you a quick uh, video. It is a bit of an American video with dollars, etc. on, but it, it covers the same points. And then we've got an option here of give feedback. This allows you to feedback ideas, any bugs, anything like that to the development team so they can keep working on it as we go. So we're just going to turn it on for now. Okay, so that's it. On, we've got confirmation of it turning on there. So I'm just going to go done. And then I'm just going to refresh our screen here um, because I want it to pull through the change. Okay, here we go. So that's the change. This is the new dashboard feature, the new widget on the dashboard called Cash Flow. Okay, so it automatically comes in and it sits on top of everything else because this is the most important information at the moment you're going to need for your business. It's all about how much money is in your bank, how much is coming in and how much is going out. Because this is a demo account, there is very limited data in it. We don't spend forever keep populating it with data. Uh, we just top it up every now and then with some data to keep it up to date and keep something relevant for working on with clients as demonstrations. Okay, so let's have a look at the widget itself. We've got the drop down arrow which gives us 6, 12, 3 and this month. Okay, so that's going to be looking at different time periods. So you can see the details in different time periods. So we've got money in, which is the graph we're on now, where we've got a green bar for income and a turquoise bar for outgoings. Now if that isn't turquoise, I do apologise. I am actually slightly colourblind. So explaining colours to people that aren't colourblind can be a bit dangerous. And then we've got the cash balance. So this is the other option to review. Okay, And what this shows is a line graph tracking all your bank balances combined every single day of the week and of the month. As you can see, I'm just going along. You can see all the dates ticking along there nice and easily. Okay, So the cash flow is completely and solely based on your bank transactions. QuickBooks hasn't designed this to care about what invoices are coming in, what invoices haven't been paid, what bills haven't been paid, or what bills have yet to be paid. It's purely tracking the content of your bank accounts. Because ultimately, you can raise as many invoices and bills as you like, it doesn't impact on your bank account until the money's in there. And you need the money in your bank account to pay your bills and to pay your staff. So this is solely looking at bank accounts. So we've got two bank accounts on this demo account. What QuickBooks has done though, is it's not just looking at the bank account balance, it's also looking at the uh, with the transactions that you have processed. It's also reviewing the transactions you haven't. Because at this level, QuickBooks doesn't care whether something's a purchase or travel or uh, 
website cost or advertising or wages. All it cares about is that money has left the bank or that money has come into the bank. So it can review and update that without you having to do anything. Sorry, because it's a demo company, we always keep the tour on, so it helps clients work their way through. So I don't have to categorize and reconcile all these lines to update the cash flow here because QuickBooks has done that, has taken those transactions into account for me. So literally the minute you log in, providing bank accounts are up to date as in they've been refreshed, they've spoken to the banks, they've pulled the latest transactions through, you will have an up to date cash flow. So we've got two graphs, as we said, we've got the money ins and outs, and we've got the cash balance. So what's what we're we looking for on each graph? Well, on this one, if it's in green, that means you've got a pos positive bank account overall. If it starts dipping and becomes red, that means it's gone below zero, which means between all your bank accounts, you've got a zero balance. Now that could be you've got a one big bank account with loads of money in it, that's fine. But there's another big bank account who's got a huge overdraft and that when you add those two numbers together you're still in the negative so that would go into the red but what it allows is you to start spotting if this line for example started declining you can start spotting that right we need to try and reserve some funds we need to try and talk some, to some people about not spend not paying their bills or about speaking to some people to try and get their invoices in a bit quicker than that perhaps they were going to pay you the other graph, on a normal day-to-day -day scenario, what we'd expect is a nice healthy green bar here representing income for the month and a turquoise bar that's not quite as tall as the green bar representing expenses for the month. And that means you've got a positive cash flow, the bank balance is going to keep increasing while that's like that. However, what we are going to be seeing now because of coronavirus and the lockdown is the green line may well be much lower than that of the turquoise line, which means you're spending more money than you've got coming in. So at that point, you need to start reviewing, right, how can I bring this line down and bring it into line with this one a bit more so that we aren't spending quite as much money and we're not digging deeper into our reserves. So here we have a quick snapshot, really, really useful bit of information here. You go across and you've got a snapshot saying, you've got a change and it's £2,000 here and there's a minus. That means you've used £2,000 more than you've had to come in. So what I would then suggest is you would go to your reports uh, up here and you'd want to look at your profit and loss and you'd want to look at the profit and loss potentially for the last month uh, to see where that money was spent. Because at the moment you need to try and say, if this is going to replicate the same again in the next month, you're going to need to save about £2,000, otherwise you're going to see a bigger dent into your bank balance. So there's a nice healthy £5,000 ex rental expense here. Now it may be that you can negotiate with your landlord to reduce this, and if you could do that by £2,000, then actually what you'd have achieved is bringing that cash balance back in line with the income, and you'd have a much more levelled uh, graph in the following month. So that's a really helpful snapshot of data straight away to say you could see, oh, hang on, over the last couple of months we might have a problem. We need to have a look at that, where we're spending our money and see if we can reserve any, reduce our costs to bring it in line with the income. Normally I'd go straight away with saying, right, how do we drive your sales? How do we get that up? And that's still a first stop for most people to look at is, can we improve ourselves? At the moment with coronavirus lockdown though, that's highly unlikely. So what you need to do is review how you're gonna reduce the costs instead and then look at the sales. And by doing that, by doing those actions on this with this graph, you're gonna stop seeing the, a line declining here and you'll see it flatten out more. So that's the really beneficial side of this tool. As I said earlier, this is not a forecasting tool. It's not predicting what's coming in or going out. There are some really good tools out there already that can do that, such as Float, cash flow software, 
plugs into QuickBooks, works really smartly, does a bit of artificial intelligence, and it can work out roughly where you're going to be. Um, so if you want to forecast, you need to use another tool like that, which works really and partners really well with QuickBooks. But at the moment, what QuickBooks has developed here is the ability to see where you are and to spot patterns so you can start preventing further damage to your business with the cash flow. So that's everything on the QuickBooks new feature. This feature we've been told is going to get a lot more work and attention over the months to come. But for now, I think this is a really positive feature to have put into your QuickBooks completely free of charge. There's no extra costs to have this feature turned on. Um, but it gives you a really powerful starting block to working out where you can and can't save your money and where your income may or may not be coming from. So that's everything from me for today. I hope that helps and I hope this feature is really useful. If you need any help understanding the data that is presenting or turning it on, then just get in touch with myself or my team. We're available to help at jgbc.co.uk. Just drop us a line with an inquiry form or you can book a meeting with myself using Calendly on there as well on our contact page. Oh.